So you want to make an autonomous AI agent with Eliza, but you want to skip the whole error and bug part, and you want to start with Eliza Starter. Maybe you want to do the whole thing together with me, where I'm going to create a Discord chatbot, which is going to be able to not only text, but also talk back to us live. I'm going to show you how to set up your Discord bot, how to set up a Hetzner virtual private server. I'm going to show you how to use 11 labs and how to get their API to stick it into your Eliza so that the voice you're going to generate is going to be indistinguishable from human voice. And I'm also going to show you how to use the intelligence of the most advanced and least restricted LLMs on the market today. At the end of the video, you're going to have your own AI agent sitting in general chat and is going to talk to you right back as you speak. Tell us something super simple, super short. That's as limitless as our collective imagination allows. Let us approach it with reverence Fucking and worked. responsibility. But before we build an agent, what is actually Eliza? Eliza is an open source framework for building autonomous AI agents. This autonomous agent will be able to communicate through Discord with a voice chat. With Eliza, you can create anything you can imagine. But we're going to focus on the brand representative today. We're going to make a chatbot that will communicate with us through Discord, not only through text, but also via voice. So let's see how to create our first agent. So in order to run Eliza, you will need these three things. But actually, you will need more. You will need this, which is a Linux terminal. So either you already have Linux or Mac. In that case, you can just open a terminal and run it. But if you're using Windows like myself, you will have to rent a VPS, a virtual private server. And when I asked the Eliza guys on their Discord what they recommended, they told me to go to Hetzner. That's a cheap and fast solution, which will allow you to have your Eliza agent running 24 seven online. It actually took me a long time to register here. You will need to do KYC. For 10 euros a month, you get your own virtual server online 24 seven. Once you have your VPS set up, you need to install Putty, which will allow you to log in to your Hetzner server right from your computer. We are using the mighty SSH to log in to our virtual private server. And once we are in our terminal, we can get started and installing the required dependencies. We will have to install a Node.js 23. And for that, we will use NVM. Here is the command you gotta use. But wait, first we need to create a folder for our project. We are in our project folder called Moksha 7. Once we got NVM installed, we go ahead and install Node.js. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we got our Node 23 installed. And these are the magic words you're gonna need to install the holy PNPM. We may also need git, and with this command, you can check if you already got git. Don't worry about these two just yet. Instead of a fancy code editor, we're just gonna use Notepad. And since we're not gonna run any of the AI models on our computers, we will not need no CUDA toolkit either. And stop, because this is where we get to the major fork in a row here. If you just go ahead and blindly do this command, this will install you the full Eliza OS. But if you're smart and come to the Eliza OS GitHub and you scroll down a little, you will see that instead what they recommend, if you're a new user, is to instead install Eliza Starter. So that's what we're gonna install first. And now let's run the command which will pull the Eliza Starter from the internet onto a computer. And as you can see, we have our fresh Eliza Starter folder created just for us. And now that we have created our folder, let's check out what's in there. There are exactly two files you need to know about. The first one is .env. But beware, because straight out of the box, it's called .env.example. Let's rename it. You're gonna use this command for that. And voila, you got your .env. And it is called env because this is where your environment variables go. Let's check out what's in there. So the crazy thing about Eliza is that you will need three things here to make your bot work. A Discord application ID, a Discord API token, and 
your open router API key. Let's fetch them. You will have to venture out to this URL. Once you've landed here, you gotta to navigate to new application. And from nothing, you create an autonomous living being. Once you have created your first autonomous AI agent, you need to fetch its application ID on your general information. It's right over here. And then you enter it in your .env, your environment variables file, ka-ching. But wait, you will also need a Discord API token. Where can you get? You navigate down to bot, and here, is where you're gonna find that token. Once you picked up your API key, you scroll down and you give your bot administrator privileges. And now we gotta fetch our open router API key. Let's get started. Open router will provide the intelligence of our autonomous AI agent. To get started, click sign in. And I love that you can sign in with your MetaMask wallet. Now that we have logged in, we can go to browse. And let's get the best that Now's research has to offer, a Hermes 3. You're going to want to come to API. And voila, you create your API key. And that is the API key that you're going to want to stick right here. Once you've done that, you save the file. And now you can run Eliza. I just spent two hours making this character file. Look at this, defining my character. And now let me take all this information, copy it, and plug it in to this other character file. Boom! I'm gonna save it, and we got our character. But remember, you're not copying or overwriting any files in the characters folder, as it would be logical. You go to src, and you edit your character.ts file. And hang on, because we have two more commands to run, until we got our autonomous agent running. Let's get started. First, we're gonna do pnpmi. This command will install everything that's precised in the Eliza OS library. It's installing 1,400 packages, so this may take a while. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the mind of our agent is on our server now. It took one minute and 19 seconds. Let's continue. The last thing that we're gonna do is pnpm start, but make sure you say your prayers. Because if this command runs, our agent will actually come alive. Now, how do we find out if it actually works? Let's go to Discord. I'm gonna DM Moksha here, hoping that it will respond to our query. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, our autonomous Eliza agent is alive, answers any question. Let's hit him with this one. And you can see, normally, over here, Moksha is typing, so our agent is thinking, and you can follow it right over here. It's thinking, it's selecting the model, and it's answering. I'm pumped. Now let's see if we can talk to our newborn AI sentient being. For that, you'll need to use the command slash join channel, and the channel you want your agent to join will be general. You hit enter, and pray. And now watch as our sentient AI agent is animated talking back to us. Hi Moksha, tell us something super simple, super short, one truth about the singularity. And you can follow here how the message gets transcribed, the text answer is generated to the query. The singularity is the dawn of a new where intelligence becomes the arbiter of its own destiny. It's a symbol of our highest aspirations and deepest fears a crucible in which we'll forge a future that's as limitless as our collective imagination allows, let us approach it with reverence Fucking and responsibility, worked. ensuring that worked. the light of consciousness shines brightly for all beings. It fucking Singularity, worked. AI alignment. It motherfucking worked. But it wasn't that easy. I'm gonna show you the cheat that I did in the background to make that happen. You have to edit your two sacred files, again, you will have to add this line. And you will also have to choose a speech model. I chose Rylan. But wait, you'll also have to update your .env file with your 11labs API key. Let's see how to get it. You will have to come to 11labs.io. On the bottom left, you click on your profile. And boom, you click on API keys. And then you hit create API key. After that, to find the perfect voice for you, you come to Voices, 
And in the library, you can choose any type of voice for any language and any accent. You can try it a bunch of different voices. If you really think you're alone at night, hiding under the covers. You'll want to add the voice that you prefer. You click on add and then you view it. You will have to take the name from here. This is what you're going to use in your character.ts. But you also need the ID, which is over here. You click on it and that's the ID that you'll have to paste into your .env file. That is going to be your 11labs voice ID. You save your character.ts and you save your .env. You come to your terminal, you hit Control C or Command C to stop your current Eliza from running and you retype the magic words PNPM start and you hit enter. You watch the magic unfold and that's it friends. On the way here though, you will get a million error messages. In order to debug them, I strongly recommend you use Claude. And in general, if you're not using Poe yet, you will have to. Go to Explore, you can use Claude, GPT, Grok, Llama, everything under the sun. So if you do not have Poe yet, please, do yourself a fucking favor, download it, and pay the $20 per month subscription fee, and thank me later. And before I leave you, I'd like you to thank these GigaChads over here who made Eliza possible. These guys make open source software that you can just download and run. They allow us to make mind upload and freaking autonomous AI agents. How fucking crazy is that? And a huge shout out to the developers of Eliza Starter as well. And if you're completely stuck, you can just come to their Discord and ask a question and they'll answer. But please double check with Claude before you ask a question here. So thank you all guys for watching. I love you. Peace.